Good morning, this is Miss Oberly. Miss Berg. And Miss Coker. We're gonna start off today with going over the answers from yesterday. You'll need to make sure you pause it on each page so that you can check your answers. On this page, on number 25 and 26, you'll notice that there are two different answer choices. So as long as you have one of them, it is correct. If you notice that you've missed a bunch of these or you struggled with some of these, make sure that you contact your math teacher. And we're now going to go over the guided notes for today. So we're gonna start with uh, number one, labeling the X and Y axis. So I'm just gonna put an X along my horizon horizontal axis and a Y along my vertical axis. So number two, which point is located at the origin? If you remember, Ms. Coker um, told us yesterday that the origin is right here where the two lines meet. And so that again is called the origin and it's usually labeled with a zero, zero. And there is a letter A there. So we would say that A is located at the origin. Um, so number three is asking what two points have the same X coordinate. So I'm going to look along my X axis. And so I notice when I look up two, it lines up with C and F. And the same thing here when I look at six, I notice that D and B also line up on that coordinate. So you would have two answers here, C and F, and D and B. So on number four, it's asking us to give directions from point E to point F. So first I locate point E, and I wanna be sure that I move along my X axis first. So in order to get towards point F, I need to go left and I'm gonna move along the grid lines and count how many spaces I go. So I've moved three spaces, four and five. So I've moved five places to the left and now I need to go down to get to F. So I go down one, two, three, four, five more spaces. So to get from point E to point F, I would go left five and down five. All right, number five, um, point G is located three units further from the Y axis than point C. What are its coordinates? So I would start by locating point C and then going three units away from the Y axis. So that would be one, two, three units away. And I would label that with a G. And then I see that the X coordinate would be a five and the Y coordinate would be and eight. Okay, for number six, it wants me to connect point B and point D with a new point, point H, so the three points form a right triangle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect point D and point B to form that line. And then I need to remember that a right triangle is a triangle that has a right angle. So for me, and there could be multiple answers on this one, but for me, I'm going to place my next point at nine, so go across the x-axis to nine and up to three. And then when I connect all three of those lines, I'll see that I have a right, tri or right triangle with the right angle around point B. At this point, you're gonna continue on and work on the partner practice and the independent practice for today based off of your suggested pacing. 